I present to you Calamelios Zephyros. Here you will find a number of testing facilities, as well as the observation hub of Poiton Oikos. Right then. Let's begin by... Hmm. Well, well. An Arrhaeus. How delightful. And what, pray tell, is that? Ah, that's a new species of shark. We approved the concept but a few days ago. Sharks are among the most popular sea creatures. Rare is the day when someone does not submit a new concept. At first, they were largely orthodox, consideration given to such things as size and environmental impact. And then a whimsical someone thought to bestow it with flight, another superior intelligence. And then the floodgates burst, concepts with multiple heads or arms or legs or arms and legs, and so on and so forth. It was getting absurd. A part of me wanted to tell them to go away and find something else to create, but in the end I couldn't deny their passion. And here we are. That was too close. Are you unharmed? Well now, if it isn't a pair of familiar faces. Banar, that we should meet you here. As I mentioned earlier, the better part of the Convocation holds that when we retire is when we return to the Star. Well, she is not among said majority. Even after stepping down, she carries on with her work. Venar is her name, and she is the previous Azem. It has been a while, Hithlidaeus. You look well. Less so, Emmet Selk. I dare say the lines upon your brow have both deepened and doubled in number. A shame for one so young. You must make an effort to frown less often. Easier said than done, thanks to your unruly successor. How is he, if I may ask? incorrigible as ever. Rushed headlong into a volcano on the brink of eruption just the other day. I should be glad to share the tale in its entirety later, if you're so inclined. Ha! Oh, you know I am. Now then, you are? chance come from the future. I do not believe we have ever met, yet I sense my magic upon you. Therefore, if I wove the enchantment, I could only have done so at a later point in time. What manner of magic is this, if I may ask? A traveler's ward, of course. It prevents the corruption of one's ether.
primals, you say? But I'm not familiar with such beings. But if they enthrall by warping the balance of ether, then yes, the magic would afford you a measure of protection. I gather from your question that you are not ignorant to its presence. Hold on. From the future? That's absurd. What is it? Are you unable to speak of the matter? The reality to which you must return exists as a result of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. So... Your actions here will not change your history, but they may yet affect the course of ours. How very exciting! I'm quite fond of delving into the unknown, and there's naught more unknown than the future. Until a moment finally arrives, we cannot know for certain what will come to pass. Regardless of our supposed foreknowledge, so you needn't worry for us. More importantly, that you should go to such great lengths as to travel unto the past bespeaks the gravity of your quest. Will you not reveal it to us? Mayhap we can be of aid to your cause. If this is true, then you've been keeping quite the secret to yourself. As a representative of the Convocation, I will hear it all. Your identity, purpose, everything. Why don't we move to a place more conducive to calm conversation? I've been working here for some days now at an old friend's behest. If it is agreeable, we may make use of my accommodation at Poiton Oikos. We were meant to meet. I am certain of it. Else I wouldn't have marked you so clearly and sent you unto myself in the past. It's precisely the sort of mischief I would get up to, and quite inspired, if I do say so myself. <laughs> 